Hello everyone, this is Neha Tulshan from Crescent Creation. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. It's the third week since I started my Christmas card series and this is the video number three for you. And for today's card, I'm using this Stamp Timber stamp set from Simon Says Stamp and Honey Bee Stamps. I'm also using the Birch Tree stencils for creating my background here. I already sprayed the stencil using some pixie spray so it sticks on my cardstock nicely and does not move when I'm ink blending. So this stencil comes as two parts. It's a layering stencil. The first one here that I'm using actually inks up the sky. For the background you want to add behind the trees. So here I'm just creating a sky look so I'm using some blue distress inks here. I'm using tumbled glass, salty ocean and blueprint sketch distress inks. I started with tumbled glass, the lightest color and added that to the bottom of my uh, background. Then I'm going in with salty ocean. I started with thinking that I wanted uh, a lighter to dark from bottom to up but then I changed my mind in between and I did darker at the bottom and lighter on the top. So you can see uh, blueprint sketch towards the bottom and then salty ocean and tumbled glass all the way up. I left the very bottom of my background uh, just as is because anyways I'm gonna add some snowy hills there so it's not gonna show. Next I'm applying my second stencil here and making sure uh, my trees and my background lines up and it was pretty easy to line them up. And here I'm just inking the trees using Hickory Smoke Distress Ink. To add a little bit of shading to my trees, what I'm doing here is going a little heavy handed towards the bottom of my background and as I go up, I'm going a little lighter handed to get that lighter effect. So I get a gradient here with just one ink. So I'm going to go ahead and die cut this background using a scalloped die. Okay, okay, wait for the end result. Don't be like, oh, I'm ruining my background. I know a lot of a lot of you would be like, why are you doing that? Why are you die cutting the background? But trust me, it's going to look beautiful later. And the dye, the dye that I'm using today, I'm not so sure uh, if it is from Honeybee or not, but I'm going to link it in the description box below for you along with the other products. To match my card front, I also die cut a bigger scalloped uh, rectangle here using a white cardstock. When I matted both these together, I put these two together, it didn't look as I wanted it to in my head. I'm going to do something. I'm going to go ahead and cut along those stitched lines for my card front or the background that I created. Yes, just stay with me. I'm trying something here and trust me, it's going to look good. So just just bear with me here. So what I did is I die cut another piece, which is the same size as my card front uh, out of white cardstock, the scalloped rectangle. And I am matting my background on top of it. I'm just gluing it using some ATG tape here. This way I get a white scalloped edge all around my background and I thought that just looked very beautiful. It kind of created a border all around it and it just looked very beautiful to me. So if you are recreating this, you do not have to die cut the scalloped rectangle twice. What you can do is before inking, just use some tape and mask off the scalloped edges from all four sides and you will get that beautiful white border all around after you're done inking. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the hills. For my snowy hills, I'm just die cutting two white pieces of cardstock using some hillside border dye from Lawn Fawn. Next, I'm just inking the tips of my hills here using some uh, purple ink. So I'm just using my blending brush and whatever residual ink is there, I'm just using that. No, no ink, just the residual ink on the blending brush. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue the hills to my background here. So the back hill goes directly onto the background using some tape. And I'm um, gluing my front hill using some foam tape. And that finishes my background for this card. Next, I wanted to add some snow to my background, but I didn't want the snow on the trees. So I'm just putting uh, one of the stencil that uh, masks the tree here. Uh, onto my background. I'm going to do some heat embossing here. So I've prepped my surface using some anti-static powder tool. And I'm going to use the snow border um, image from the stamp set to create the snow. I'm stamping the image using some clear ink here. I'm going to stamp it thrice to get a good snow coverage on the sky. I'm going to remove the stencil here and then pour some white embossing powder on top of the stamped ink and then I'm going to go ahead and heat set it using my heat tool. 
and this is how my background looks once it's all done. Next I'm working on the images. I have already stamped my images on a white piece of cardstock and here I'm using some Copic inks to color all my images. All the colors that I have used are listed on the screen. I won't be able to share the complete coloring video with you today because somehow the video was deleted so I don't have all of the coloring video but whatever I have I'll share it with you. Here is where I lost the footage. So here I'm just showing you that I added uh, different designs on my gift boxes here using my white gel pen and my shimmer pen. I also used a black marker to add details to my third and the last gift box. Lastly, I'm using my white gel pen to add highlights to all my images. Once this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and die cut these images using my scan and cut. Here I'm just adding all the accessories to my snowman. So I'm gluing the scarf to him using some liquid glue and I'm gonna go ahead and add the hat too. Now it's time to glue all these pieces onto my card front. Starting with gluing the bench, I'm gluing that directly to my card front using some liquid glue. I'm also gluing the gift boxes with liquid glue here. Snowman, since I'm gluing it on top of the front hill, I had to add a little bit of dimension so I'm adding a little bit of foam tape just on the top part of the snowman and the bottom part has a little bit of liquid glue. Once I glued it in place I'm just using my C00 Copic marker here to add some shadow just beneath the snowman and that almost finishes my card here. You remember I already die cut a white rectangle which was a little bigger than our card front so that was out of white card stock. And I didn't want it to be white anymore because our scalloped border for a card front is already white. So here I'm just adding color to this die cut using my Copic marker. I used BG10 to add color to this die cut but it looked a little bit lighter to me. So here I'm using a little darker color in BG45 and I'm adding that over the BG10 to just get that nice dark color. Once that's done I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue behind my card front and glue both my scalloped pieces together. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this to a white note card. So my card is almost done here. It's time to add some sentiment. Since my sentiment is supposed to go on top of the heat embossing that we did, so I'm using some archival ink so that it stays on that heat embossing too. I chose the sentiment season's greetings from the same stamp set and I'm stamping it onto the top part of my background also stamped from our family to yours to the inside of the card. I thought it nicely finished my sentiment. Lastly, I glued this tree just near the sentiment. This was left from my first project from this series. I know it didn't match the outside as much but I thought it looked nice to add something to the inside near the sentiment so I just added it. And that finishes my card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Here are a few more videos that you might like to watch. Thank you for visiting. Have a nice day.